Craig here and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to find free royalty free images that you can use on your website or your commercial website. Now I'm creating this tutorial also to give back to my loyal subscribers of my YouTube channel and also followers of my personal blog thewiseaffiliate.com. So what I've done is I've personally created seven free bookmarklets that you can use, you can drag it into your own browser and you can use these bookmarklets to help you find free images that you can use without linking back to the original source. So for this video purpose, I've put this content on a test website, but if you want to access the bookmarklets and add them to your own browser, you'll need to go to my website, thewiseaffiliate.com. I'll put the link as a video overlay and I'll also put the link in the video description. Now when you visit the web page, once you scroll down past the video, you'll see that we have free bookmarklets that you can use without doing anything. But then a little further down, you'll notice a box which says, to access the four additional bookmarklets, you must share this post. Now you can uh, like it on Facebook, share it on LinkedIn, uh, make a tweet about it, or plus one it on Google Plus. Now once you do one of those steps, it will reveal the four additional bookmarklets. Now you may be thinking, I don't want to share this content, and that is perfectly fine. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm testing out a new plugin, and at the same time, if people that find my content and bookmarklets helpful, and they share it, well, it's going to give my site more exposure. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go and see how these bookmarklets work. So first of all, if you don't know what a bookmarklet is, I'm going to quickly show you some additional bookmarklets that I use. So let's say I was on a website and I wanted to know if 7freebookmarklets.com was available to purchase. Well, I have a bookmarklet here that is basically a JavaScript and it will perform a function. So I highlight my words and then I click on my bookmarklet and it then goes off to godaddy.com to see if the domain name is available to purchase. And what do you know? 7freebookmarklets.com is available. So that is how a bookmarklet works. You can create different ones. So what I've done is I've created bookmarklets which will perform searches on different sites, etc. to find free images. To install a bookmarklet in your browser, you have to make sure your bookmark bar is visible. Now, if you're in Chrome and you don't see this bookmark bar, you can hold down the control key, the shift key, and then press B, and the bookmark bar will appear. Alternatively, you can come over to the options, go to bookmarks, and click show bookmark bar. Now, the process is very similar in Firefox and Internet Explorer. If you run into any troubles figuring it out, you know, do a quick search or post a comment, and I'll gladly help you out. So to install a bookmarklet, we have to hover our mouse over the bookmarklet, hold down the left mouse button, and then drag it over to our bookmark area. Now, you can see that plus sign. That means it's working and it's in the correct location. Let's let go. We now have a bookmarklet here. Same with the other ones. We'll drag those over quickly. Now, if you click on these, it may open up a dialog box like that. That is, it should do that, but if you want to install them in your browser, you have to drag them over here. That way you don't have to come back to my site and you're always going to have these bookmarklets. So we're going to drag these over in a moment. I want to cover these three first. So the first bookmarklet is Wikimedia. So let's say we were creating a website about cats and we wanted to find some free images to use about cats. We simply click on the bookmarklet and enter in the search phrase, cat. Now, you need to be somewhat broad, especially on the Wikimedia site. So I've entered in cat and I'm going to press OK. What it will do is it will open up a new tab. It will go to google.com and do a search under the images. But it's going to make sure that each page the image is on has this um, quote, basically. If I scroll to the end of this search result, you'll see that we have the search phrase here, cat. And then we have a line of text wrapped in quotes. So any of these images, we are free to use. Now, Wikimedia isn't the greatest source to use to find images, but it works. 
Now if you can hear banging, I do apologize. I have a house full of kids upstairs and they're supposed to be quiet. So how do we know we can use this image? Well, let's click on the image and then we'll go to visit page. And if we scroll down, you'll see that we have this under licensing. I grant anyone the right to use this work for any purpose without any condition unless such conditions are required by law. So this basically gives us the right to use it on any type of website we want. So that is Wikimedia. Next, we're gonna to go to SXC and we'll search for Kath again, hit okay. And this time it actually goes to the website and performs a custom search. And I say custom because I've set it up so that restricted okay is set to none. Now by default, when you come here, I forget what the default is, but it will return images that some require you to link back and some don't. But following this method, we can use any image on our website. I do have to point out though that this top row, they are premium images from iStock Photo and they'll cost you a dollar plus per image. Below that, we can use any of these images. And how do we know that? Well. Let's click on one of the images and you will need to create an account to actually download the full size image, but you can follow along like this without an account. So down here we have availability and standard restrictions apply. And we also have here usage options royalty free. So if you really want to check out the license details, which I recommend you do as well, because you know, I don't want to get you into trouble. So click on standard restrictions and you'll see you may use the image and it tells you all of the rules and kind of regulations, but basically you're allowed to use this on your business website if you choose. So let's close out of here. Next, we are going to go uh, morgfile.com. So this is not the greatest, but it depends what you're looking for. Sometimes they have images you know that you can use on certain categories but sometimes it doesn't return anything so we'll enter in cat again hit okay and this one again is using the google image search now why cat has been returned for these two i'm not 100 percent sure so we don't really have a huge selection but any of these images that do appear we are free to use without any link back and that's because it's doing the same thing. So let's say we wanted to use this image, go visit the page, just to confirm that we're allowed to use it, of course. You could just right click and save the image right there. Not sure why that didn't work. Okay, let's just try this image. For some reason it wasn't working. Visit page. Okay, let's just go and see the uh, cast copy. So we know we can use it because over here it says attribution is not required. So if we want to go and read more details about the license, you can click read the license summary. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe my internet is down. But under the license summary, you are free to remix, use commercially and without attribution. And that's basically what we need to know and be aware of. Okay, so that covers the first free bookmarklets. And again, if you want to access the additional ones, you will need to share the post. So let's drag these over to our bookmark area. Okay, so first we have Icon Finder, and I use Icon Finder all the time, but you need to be aware of something here. So let's click on it and we'll search cat and click OK. Now, I believe it's because of a cookie that's been set or something, but it always knows that I always want to find icons for commercial use with no backlink required. But if it's the first time you've been to this site or used this bookmarklet, it's likely going to return all images with no license filtering. So make sure you change this to commercial for commercial use, no backlink. And then you're free to use any of these icons as you choose. 
at the top you will notice they try and get you to buy a couple those obviously you can't use their premium icons but let's say you wanted to use this icon you can click on it oops let's click on it again it's going to allow you to download the png version you can also download a different variation of sizes if you choose so that is iconfinder.com and next we're going to move on to pixabay now i personally like this one the most so let's go search for cat and hit ok this one goes off to the actual website and performs a search so we have 1020 images related to cat again at the top here these are premium images i believe that's how they make their money because they want you know their visitors to go off purchase subscriptions and premium images but who needs premium images when we have a lot, loads of images here? So let's say we, say we wanted to use this image of the cat in the snow. Well, how do we know we can use this for free? Well, as you scroll down, we have the license public domain CCO or CC0. If you want to check it out, click on it. And basically, you can copy, modify, distribute and perform the work even for commercial purposes. That's what we need to see, and that basically means that we can use this image. You could also come down to the where are the terms here, and it will give you some more details. But but really, all images found on Pixabay.com are free to use on commercial sites, etc. Next, we're going to go to a clip art type website. So, see if we can find any cat. Now, any images returned on this site are free to use because these are all in the public domain and free to use. The site was originally designed for college students, etc., to use images on their projects. So, any of these types of images, you can click on it and uh, download it and use it on your own website. So, next and the final one at the moment is Image After. Now I know this site has been down for most of the day. I'm hoping it's going to be working when we try this now. So let's say we wanted to find a cat. Press OK. And basically it goes off to the site. It does a search uh, for cat. And it returns its images. It does not look like it's going to load. So what I'm just going to quickly do. Just go to Google and do a quick search for imageafter.com. And you'll see that they currently have 28,000 plus free texture and images available. Uh, hopefully when you try it, it will be up and running. Now it's great because sometimes you're not after a real image. You want some kind of texture type image. Well, if you have all of these bookmarklets, it gives you a variety of places to go and to check for your images. So basically that has wrapped up my video, but I do want to just quickly show you how you can organize your bookmarks and bookmarklets because right now these seven bookmarklets are taking up a whole load of room so first off you can always right click and click edit and let's just rename it to i for icon finder hit save and now we're only taking up a small amount of room you can also you know perhaps you want to right click and add new folder you can add a new folder like i've already done it so i have three images here well, let's drag them all into our free image folder. That's fine. Oops. Well, I don't need to show you doing that in the video. So basically, you'd have a folder where you would have all of your free images. And if you don't like to type words in, well, no problem. Let's say you wanted to see if there was any images for bookmarklets. Well, you highlight the text on the page. Come over to your bookmarklet thing and click click on the bookmarklet and as you can see you don't need to enter in the word because it's already there it just didn't find anything Let's see if no licensing filter no anyway I didn't really expect it to find anything for that word so hopefully this video helped if you liked it please hit the like button and share it with your friends subscribe if you want to stay updated and uh, if you have any questions or comments or problems you're more than welcome to contact me and I'll gladly try and help you out. Now, when you visit my site to access these bookmarklets, you may notice that there is more than seven available. 
and that's because if I come across a site which allows me to create a bookmarklet that will help people find these types of images then I'm likely to add them so other than that make sure you check out the license details before you use any images uh, other than that have yourself a great day